Hello, I'm James Goulding, editor of Technology Reseller Magazine, and I'm here today with Morten Kiersgaard, founder and CEO of Heimdall, a provider of next level cybersecurity protection. Morten, thank you for joining us. Great to see you. Very great to meet you. Perhaps a good starting point would, would be if you could give me a quick introduction on um, Heimdall for readers who aren't um, familiar with the company. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and to that, I think I'll, I'll tell it with a bit of a spin, which is I think the, the company is a bit of a reflection of the, of the founder, <laughs> which would, of course, be myself. Uh, so uh, a very, uh, very kind of visionary technology stack. Um, we try, we've, we, we've undergone quite a journey where we started being best of breed in certain areas. We won the DEF CON 2011. That then turned into be a technology of two kind of best of breed products in 2014, patch management, DNS uh, security. And then that kind of under, underwent a, a transformation, I'd say, into what is then today the widest technology stack in the security space, um, which has been quite the transformation in its own right. Uh, and quite the journey for our business, uh, of course, uh, of that size. So, a very uh, behind that is, of course, again, it goes back to the person probably, but the it's very, uh, very pushy, uh, competitive, visionary person, uh, trying to trying to drive the business to the front of the market uh, all the time. So, I would say, Handle is probably uh, a transformational business for those that uh, engage with it today. And and uh, so, apart from the the breadth of your offering. Um, how else does Heimdall stand out in the market? Yeah, I think we stand out in a number of ways. I mean, we've we've continued to be very innovative. We were the first business to position, the first business in the world to position ourselves against ransomware. I think it was back in 2015 or 16, uh, early 16 if so. Um, and that, that came to bear by us ranking number one on Google. So of course we got completely stormed <laughs> when, when all these ransomware attacks broke out. And that kind of trend has continued where we in 20, I think it was 18, were the first to launch a very complex, um, it's it's a firewall detection mecha mechanism uh, for what is called a brute force attack. And then kind of lately, if you spin it forward, uh, we've just recently launched the world's first kind of, we call it the threat hunting and action center. But in the category, it's what you would call a SOAR, but I call it a SOAR and much more because it's, it's continuous kind of innovative technology where we take it beyond what the market has today. Um, and I think that that's really what, what comes into play all the time here. And, uh, and is there a particular target market you have? And are, are there any verticals in which you're particularly strong? Yeah, there are. I mean, that's also a very unique piece about Heindel is because of the width of the platform, because of certain areas where we have technology leadership. And, and I maybe didn't cover your question in full before to, to your fairness. I mean, the, the, there are these kind of products where we are also best of breed. So we have the widest platform, but then there's certain areas where we're also best of breed. Again, DNS patching would be some of those, uh, but there are also others where like our ransomware protection module or rights management on desktop. And then they, that goes back to your kind of verticals question, where are we exceptionally strong? Well, you have certain verticals within those product parameters where the use case can be the width of the stack. And that would typically be uh, an MSP or MSSP scenario where these guys are certainly looking to centralize and kind of vendor centralized uh, in the current market. So that works extremely well. But then as you go through kind of the direct customer motions, you'll have similar, similar how do you say, fits into the market. So there will be certain use cases where customers have certain needs for these kind of best of breed solutions or also end customers that have a, a need for a, a unified stack. Uh, and then of course the, the fit is exceptional. Well, the, the cool thing for us is there is really no alternative to this kind of width of solution at the moment. So that's a, clearly a tailwind we're trying to, uh, to tap into heavily. And the uh, and presumably your, your customers, uh, before they come to you, will have been using other cybersecurity solutions uh, what, what attracts them to Heimdall and, and, and what uh, is their sort of entry point? Yeah, that, that I think is also quite unique. You're right. A lot of customers will have existing technology in some areas. Uh, that could, of course, be antivirus. I'm sure you also have an antivirus uh, on your laptop. Everybody will have that. But then there are certain other vertical specific technologies like DNS protection or patch and vulnerability management, which become ever so more relevant uh, for a wider stack of customers, which might then not have a technology in place today. 
And then, of course, if you take the UK market specific dynamics, then you have cyber essentials there where you both need patch management. You need uh, as well a, a patching solution. If you go into the NHS, the government, the direction is you need a DNS security solution as well. So there are some certain verticals where these things are moving and where customers have new needs that arise, but also where you're right, they, they'll be replacements. Um, and again, I think that the main thing that, that talks into value for these customers is again, that you can kind of get everything in one place, which just makes it incredibly easy to, to manage uh, from, a, from a management standpoint. Yeah, and, so, and that, that must be a, a, a big attraction for your um, MSPs as well. Um, what, what, what sort of impact has sort of your MXDR solution had um, since its launch? Yeah, a, a very big impact. That's, of course, been quite unique. Most in this space, I'll try to, to make it as uncomplex as possible. But in, in this space, uh, customers and partners use typically a, a an MXDR service to do their reactive protection. So reactive protection is typically your antivirus again, would be a good example. You have to have an infection for the antivirus to actually work because otherwise it can't, it's like a virus in your body. You can, you can take the antibiotics before, but it's not going to work. So you have to take the antibiotics after you get infected. Uh, and it's similar with an antivirus and then similar with an MXDR service is to get the value you need to be infected. But with Heimdall, because it's also a proactive suite, we can offer a much wider value stack into those partners with an MXDR offering because we can also do the patch management. We can also do the DNS security. We can also help them with the email security, et cetera. All of those which don't require you to have an infection. So it's been very, very unique offering in the market and very transformational for those partners because the value we supply is much, much bigger than what they can get anywhere else in the market from a, from a SOC service. And, and is the um, sort of MSP and MSSP community becoming more important? Yeah, for sure. And there's, there's a number of things coming into play there. Uh, first of all, that's a market vertical that is growing very rapidly. So, of course, for us, it's strategically important that we, we hammer that one home. Uh, so for sure, the, the MSP and MSSP market is absolutely critical for us as a the way we go to market, the way we sell. Hence, we've, we've doubled down on that heavily. Also, through Brigantia, of course, that, that is fundamentally important. That's what Brigantia is very good at. Uh, so clearly an area where we leverage Brigantia's relationship very, very uh, strongly uh, to that MSP space. Um, and, and, and so is it, can you give me some idea of, of uh, what sort of proportion of your revenue comes from the MSP business? Yeah, so a channel is, you can say channel is everything we do, basically. So if we start breaking that down, MSPs of that is then about 70%, I would say, of our channel revenue. Uh, and then kind of more traditional bar business is about 30% of that. So it's, it is incredibly important as you kind of get the sense here. Uh, and so coming to back to the UK, I mean, how has your business been growing in the UK since you opened your Leeds office in 2021 and signed that new long-term distribution agreement with Brigantia? Yeah, that, that's, been a, <laughs> that's been a phenomenal journey for sure. Um, so the, the journey we went through there was, we actually started with Brigantia back in, in, I think it was 2016, I think I met Angus and Ian and the team there the first time. Um, and then from there, it kind of took took a lot of uh, a pace. And then it, all of a sudden, it became this kind of unstoppable snowball that was rolling downhill. We then uh, opened an office in Leeds with an objective to kind of triple the revenue uh, in the UK. I think we've gone way beyond that. Uh, to Today, the UK is our fastest growing market of any market not just from a percentage standpoint, but also from a pure revenue standpoint. And we will continue to double down in the UK market because we see a great fit there. Um, we have my C CRO is based there now, CFO is based there now. So also some kind of core institutional parts of the business there. And, and the business trajectory continues to be extremely strong in the, in the UK market. So certainly one we will continue to focus very heavily on uh, as we continue to build out that market. And, and is there anything about the UK market, apart from you having feet on the ground and good partners, is there anything about the UK market uh, that, that makes it so fast growing? Yeah, I mean, it, the UK as a whole, and I'm not just talking about England, Scotland, I mean, the UK as a whole, as a market, 
I think personally with the rollout of Cyber Central is kind of this, the increased governance that we touched on before going through the NHS uh, and kind of the, uh, let's say the last two, three years, there's been an increased awareness about cybersecurity. And uh, that clearly helps accelerate the the growth there for sure. Structurally, it's a, it's a very big market. It's it's close to as big as the German market in, in Europe. So clearly it makes it absolutely instrumental for vendors to, to secure their market. So clearly for those reasons, it's a, it's a market we want to make sure we, uh, we get absolutely right the first time here. Yeah. And, uh, and what can UK MSPs uh, look forward to from Heimdall next year? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot going on, as you can kind of sense. Uh, and we got some very interesting new products coming out, uh, which I think will target the slightly upper uh, market of the MSPs and open some new opportunities for the lower uh, MSP uh, players, which is we'll be launching a um, what is called a privilege account and session management tool. Incredibly geeky, but let me try and talk you through that. So where an MSP operates servers for customers, typically you would need an administrator account on that server to uh, to offer it, so to to um, to manage it. Uh, and what this product will do is have the ability to launch sessions into those servers what is called just in time that means you can eradicate the need for having those administrator accounts resident on those servers which of course then elevates the security posture greatly because all of a sudden there's nothing there left to hack basically on those servers um and then the session management piece of that will be recording all of those sessions for compliant purposes storing them etc which is more commonplace in kind of the upper msp parts of the market uh, they'll have larger customers that will have those type of requirements, but then smaller customers will have the same need, but it's an unexplored part of the market today. So I think that will be a very interesting launch for the MSP market uh, coming into 2024, and that we're targeting to get that out early 2024. Then also we have some what is called RMM integrations that we're planning to launch in 2024 as well, which is basically... To, to, to again keep it in plain terms, RMM is something every MSP uses. It offers uh, a, a level of, how do you say, communication with their customer base. So the ability to integrate cybersecurity with that type of front customer facing communication platform uh, will, be, uh, will be great for sure as well. Okay, so a, a, a lot to look forward to. And, uh, and am I right in thinking that 2024 will be your 10th anniversary? Yeah, that's also quite unique, uh, for sure. The, uh, so Handal, yes, that's true. It was founded in in March 2014. Uh, it's it's today Europe's largest organically built cybersecurity business. Uh, so celebrating a 10th anniversary there will also be a very unique experience, for sure. Uh, absolutely, but that's that's correct. And, and and what have been some of the highlights of your first 10 years? There's there's a lot, isn't there? I mean. It was quite interesting. If you talk through being a startup, and I'm sure lots of people who started a business can relate to that. Uh, the first thing you talked about was your first order. So, you know, when the business is very small, you need to get your first order in. Then you talk about your first 10,000 pound order. Then you talk about your first 100,000 pound order. Then it's a million. Uh, so, and all of these highlights, of course, we've, we've gone through. From an employee standpoint, I think we've seen so many incredibly bright people come through Heimdall, learning a lot. Uh, some have left again, some have also come back again, um, which I think also talks into the, the company culture of how we kind of retain people and, and give them an opportunity here to grow, which you wouldn't necessarily find anywhere else. So I think if I was to highlight one thing in particular, it'd probably be the, the people side of it, where we've seen these fantastic young people come through learning heaps and, and just kind of evolving their skill set and just seeing people grow like that is just, uh, that's tremendously rewarding, I just have to say. But also, I mean, clearly the product journey going from a small local Danish vendor to being a global global brand has also been <laughs> incredibly rewarding. So it's uh, it's quite hard to make a pick, but I probably have to call out the, the people side of it. Yeah, very good. Um, and uh, I, I suppose it's, you can't really say what you hope for in the next 10 years. Yeah, I mean, for sure, we're on a we're on a globalization a globalization journey now, and that's certainly one we want to make sure goes well. Uh, we do have an internal saying that uh, we want to have world domination. Uh, clearly, maybe that's a bit a uh, bit too far, but uh, no doubt that uh, 
that we want to take a, a, a giant leap towards the US market and taking a big chunk of that, which is, I would say, well underway. UK market is doing it really well. So that means we need to start focusing on some of these more uh, Central European markets, uh, the DAC in, in, in particular. And then, of course, you have markets like APAC, et cetera, as well, that we really want to hammer home. Um, so I think going through the next kind of 10 years, for sure, building those markets out to be uh, a, a big revenue stream for us will be absolutely key uh, for the business. Do you have uh, any sort of final words you want to say to the UK MSP and MSSP community? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I like to, I think, I'll extend a very big thank you to Angus. It's been an incredible seven years, an incredible journey with the Brigantia team uh, throughout those seven years. Uh, we've kind of gone from being a, a very, very small player in the UK to being a, a pretty important institutional player. And I'm sure we'll take it way, way beyond where it currently is. Uh, it's been a very fiery kind of journey, with both me and Angus being very passionate people. Um, but then, of course, as well, all those MSPs that serve beneath Brigantia and, uh, and are been very loyal to the Handel platform as well, and deserve my, my extreme gratitude for the support throughout those seven years as well. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Morten, for your time. And I, and I look forward to um, uh, seeing everything that comes out of Heimdall next year, 2024. Thank you. Thank you for your time as well. And it's been a pleasure.